What's up guys, Insomniac Gaming here, back with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. We're just going to be continuing this story, so let's get into it. If Aelfa, her sister, spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. Secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. Damn you! I did not want it. Yeah. 
I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Good to the Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life, life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway. I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Good day. I mean, <clears throat> he said about speaking to Ranvi and Hytham. I mean, I might as well go talk to Hytham. Well, it's like, there's nothing to talk about. This one begins a long time ago at I cleared Winchester of the Order, yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. I have right, go in peace. Can't really talk to him. Um... I want to see... Yeah, there's nowhere else to go on the map. Besides, back to Norway. I have changed my... I should go... Look at you, Tui. Ah, oh, look at you, Tui.
I want to see... It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Good. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! Shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Save it for later. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Pick up from there. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you will light a fire beneath him. Inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame. Read the sail. Birds. Let's put her in here. Let's see you, old friend. Where did we leave off? Ah, what was it round this end? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. Well, that's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should... Hey, we were speaking. We should look there. And come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick. Soaker, you are chipper, leaves. brother. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring oh, into his horn. We should go. Look at him.
Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. 
and good riddance. Now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, eh? I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The live tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these ways. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. The strains of these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy folks. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful feeling. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, loss of my arm. My visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? 
As I know my own mind, we will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw. Do not worry. To Paris and a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow? To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No, we must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice! You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. of frozen fingers. I hope so. There. A frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. And too late to turn back, I fear. There, the cave. Within hides the sacred gate. The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The Saga Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvonti gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, unsum hukas reis derae. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? A 
Over here. This blade will lead us onward. How beautiful she gleams. Here all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the old father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my ambitions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor. For I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. The hanging body gives me so much reassurance. I think that's where I'm gonna end this episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can notify whenever I upload. Link to my Twitter and Instagram will be in the description below. Uh, and my podcast. So check those out. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.